How did you feel when, with all, with all of our uh, attacking talent, and I'm, mm. I'm talking about strikers as well as, as, as midfield players uh, as well, that against Greece, Lee Carsley chose not to play a number nine? I was surprised, Jeff, to be honest, because... You've got Solanke who got loads of goals last year. You've got Watkins who got loads of goals for Villa and got them played a big part in getting Villa to the Champions League spot. And you've got Harry Kane who got an enormous amount of goals in the Bundesliga. So to have no number nine and no and look and people will mention Manchester City who have played no number nine at times. But then they ultimately did have one before in Aguero and they ultimately did afterwards because they went and bought Haaland. So even Pep realised that he wanted a number nine. With, you know, but he had played periods without one because he had such a talented squad, but he didn't have his perfect number nine. Now, Haaland's come in since. I'm not... For, Jeff, I, I miss days of two up front, I do. You know, partnerships. I, I miss partnerships in centre-forward positions because the game was yeah. littered with it, wasn't it, in the yeah. 80s and even into the 90s, watching whoever... Alan Smith and Ian Wright and Burkham and Omri and well, then Tosh and Keegan yeah, before you know, that. Well, just go through the history of football and we don't see any of that anymore. No one is even brave enough. But to see no number nine in the team, mm. I think it ends up making football like handball. Um, we, we did see a number nine yesterday, so let, let's touch on it now. Harry Kane. Um, look, in the Bundesliga, he's had a, a decent start. He's got five in six Bundesliga games. How much more... Currencies he got in the bank, if you like, to guarantee him an England start because he looks, as Gabby would say, mm. miles off it. Yeah, um, Lewandowski for Bayern got loads and loads of goals. Jeff, his goal ratio in his early days was exceptional for Poland, but the latter years of his career, he struggled to get goals in tournaments or struggled to get the amount of goals. How he's still getting goals? I mean, he got two against Finland recently, mm. didn't he, at Wembley? Um, but it's got very close to the moment now where. Ollie Watkins can be the better option. Because I just think, take the free kick that Trent bent in. If you look at the action before, where Ollie makes a run down the left-hand side, deep into the half of the opposition, wins a free kick, stretches the team, stretches the back four. And that happened numerous times. Even happened with Noni Madawaki mm -hmm. when he came on on the right. He stretched the team. And I think England, if they're going to play that possession-based game, they need also an outlet with stretching teams. And... I'm sorry, Ollie does it way better than Harry. Harry's a fantastic goal scorer, but I wouldn't. He now looks to me, Jeff, he's ready to be a sub that, if needed, to come on or mm. one that that one chance that might drop and he and he's there to convert it. He looks more like that now than Ollie. I think suits the team better. Okay. Hi, Jeff and Tony says Jill, who's a regular. Uh, listener, I've lost all interest in England. The football's boring. All the talk of Pep is ridiculous. How about we go completely left field, bring a team together, Rooney, John Terry, Frank Lampard. She does follow it, by the way, with a couple of laughing, crying emojis. <laughs> so, Jill, morning, John. Not too sure that's a serious suggestion or not. 03717 Let us know where you're at with Lee Carsley and the England manager's position. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.